Welcome back to Latin Nation. I'm your host, Humberto Guida, and sitting next to me is a special in-studio guest, the only Latino to make the finals of Last Comic Standing, Francisco Ramos, yeah. Venezuela's finest. So, how'd you feel, man? What, that was a really, really cool to watch you, you know, shine. Thank to you. Uh, to get to the finals, the only Latino there, Roseanne Barr, was telling you that you were going to be a star. Yeah. Keenan Ivory Wayans was saying, I should have hired you, which means he didn't like you the first time around. Yeah. Which is usually the case with most people. Well, yeah. I mean, thank you. But by the way, I love this set. I mean, I feel like this is like the new Save by the Bell Latino set. Like, Zach you would Morris. be. Yeah, Zach Morris. You would be Zach Morris. I'd be AC Slater, you know. I was going to say Screech, but I guess you're right. AC Slater. Come on, bro. No, but that's a bad joke. Say what that's you said why. before the camera started rolling about me in the locker. I, like, I could stuff you in the locker. Locker, you know, like, you know, but you know, this is different. Say by the bell. Okay, cool. This is more yeah. millennial style. But anyways, getting back to last comic standing. Back, yeah, how did it was, feel to do what you did? To it have was, that run? it was amazing. It was a great, I mean, experience. I really uh, had a great time. It was awesome just to be part of the of the of the show, and also to have people like Roseanne or Keenan and I were wins people that I admire and I saw when I was growing up and tell me all this stuff, all these great compliments. It just gives me more confidence to keep to keep on going. You know? Now, you guys didn't play up the fact that you were Latino, obviously, as part of your set. Like, yeah. was that was that a, a strategy going in? You know, did they want you to play up the Latino thing? No, I mean, they, they really didn't give you any strategy or anything like that. I think uh, I wanted, I mean, I think it's like how how I do stand up. Like I'm already Latino, I already have an accent, I don't need to push it. It's like it's already there. So like it's stuff you, that <laughs> You have an accent? Yeah. Oh, I barely really? noticed. Oh, I, no. I, 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 another, <laughs> bro, stop doing bad jokes. Okay. You would have been caught. You don't even make the show. I bro. wouldn't have made the well, Actually, I tried out like three years ago. You once. Did? No, and I totally uh, cut the line. They had the tryouts at the improv, and everyone had been waiting for like three days outside. I get there two months before. Went. I cut the line. They wanted to kill me. And I, and, and then they like go and back. Then they, and then they're they like, go back. They said, go, go back. back I'm never trying this again. All right. They said, you do comedy, but you're not, you're not a comedian. I'm like, all right, fine. What does that mean? <laughs> we've, we've gone over that. That doesn't make sense at all. <laughs> That's something that you've read in a fortune cookie. No, it no, 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 no. I made that up myself. <laughs> now, getting back, now let me ask you, now, now that you've been kind of like, you know, real with me, let me be real with you. What about that Norm MacDonald and the <laughs> fact that he always had kind of like critical thing to say about your performance? I mean, I was fine with it. I mean, he's, uh, he's a great, he's a character. So I was like, I mean, I was, if he told me, if he would tell me something good or bad, I was mm -hmm. going to take it the same way. So it wasn't, I was a surprise of what he was going to say. It was something because, I mean, his whole character is mm -hmm. like, you know, kind of like, hey, I'm out there and stuff like that. I'm just going to say whatever. So it didn't affect me, if that's what you're trying to say. So how does life change after you're on Last Comic Standing? I, I mean, are, are you going to... Well, I'm married, and I got a couple <laughs> of kids, you know, but a house. Now, <laughs> no, it's pretty much the same. I mean, definitely I've been getting a lot of feedback on online. For example, people follow me on Twitter. Mm -hmm. People follow me on Instagram. A lot of people tell me how they like my set, how they want to come see me live. Right. So, which is, that's a good thing that's happening. I've been going to start headlining, you know, in mm -hmm. different states all over the country, you know, and uh, doing colleges. So that's been helping me a lot. I really think that your act obviously plays well with Latinos because you get into the whole, you know, how your parents and how your family were different from, like, you know, white kids and the way yeah. that they were raised, and I, I find that hilarious. Yeah. But it seems like that non-Hispanics, non-Latinos really resonate with a lot of that humor. Like, it helps them understand well, us better to watch You know sex. what? It's funny because uh, I think, uh, I don't know, I was doing this show and this lady who was... Um, she wasn't Latina, but she was a, a immigrant or minority, and she told me, ah, oh, you. I mean, it was the same thing that happened with me with my parents, you know, mm -hmm. growing up like that. Because I think we all grew up with that same experience of like coming in if you're a minority or you're an immigrant and grew up here, you know, comparing how your parents were, you know, raised you with how your, uh, you know, the white parents or how your white friends would go through the whole mm -hmm. same thing. So, so I think that resonates with not even just uh, Latinas, but with any kind of like minority that lives in the U.S. or you know, in the world. Do you ever talk to any of the other Latino uh, last comic standings, whether it's winners like Felipe Sparge or some of the other Latino comics that went through uh, you know, the process and how they kind of use that uh, appearance to really explode their fan base or expand their presence in the country? Well, I mean, I mean, I, d I haven't reached out to Felipe or anything, but I talked to Ida Rodriguez, and I really, she's like, she also was top 10 last year, and uh, that, she really helped, you know, that really helped her, you know, advance her career in stand-up, as well as doing, like, she, I think she was hosting some Imagen Awards, or, mm -hmm. you know, right. so she's, she's definitely, that really kind of, like, helped her, you know, catapult her into, you know, to see, because the whole point is to get exposure out of the show, for, to get fans, to get the you know industry to see you, to get people to know you, so then you can start, oh, you know, hopefully doing more projects that are gonna you know help you in your career. Okay, well, you're gonna get a lot of help from being here on Latin Nation today. Yeah, we're gonna take a break and we're gonna be right back uh, mm -hmm. with a little bit more with Francisco Ramos. A little bit more, a little Jesus. bit more. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Coming up right.